Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal, I'm back with another video. While I was at RetroCon last weekend, I had the opportunity to talk with someone whose art lined the packaging of the original Transformers. Mark Watts is a very talented illustrator. Many of his illustrations are done by hand with airbrushes, even though now the tricks of the trade are corrected by computers. His work on Transformers involves the robot designs used with the original toys. And before I get into any more detail, I'll let this masterful artist explain it himself. So sit back, relax, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help us bring you more content like this. Hello everybody out there, I'm Mark Watts. I did all the original Transformer artwork from 1981 and beyond for about seven years. This is the first artwork that was ever done in the United States. Bumblebee was the first piece. I was called into my agent's office and I met with Tycho Toys and I came up with the concept. They gave me static uh, prototypes that didn't move and I made them as exciting as I could. And we paint it with dyes, Dr. Martin's dyes, on our press illustration board. If you look over here, this was about the size that was drawn, that was painted about that size, and it's about 80 hours when that piece just for the painting. 80 and hours? And about three days wow. or so to get it perfect. So it took a long time. 80 hours of hard work and labor went into just one of the paintings that were used on all of the boxes and cards. What's really amazing is the level of detail that you can see that really made the robot shine. Mark said the reason they loved his talent was because he was able to make vehicles shine in many of his paintings. This made the original Transformers stand out on the toy shelves back in the 1980s. You can see how much detail he put into making each toy look like a glamour shot. Now because he was working directly with the prototypes of the toys, all of the Transformers featured on the boxes were very toy accurate. This even included Ironhide and Ratchet, who appeared to use their windshields as their faces, instead of the sticker used on the toys when they were released. Of course, I have covered the reason those toys were headless in a previous video. The first characters that Mark Watts had worked on were the six minibots, starting with Bumblebee. Characters like Jetfire, Shockwave, and even the Combiners, such as the Constructicons and the Stunticons, were given a shiny appeal that Transformers fans can all appreciate. In fact, some fans have even said to him that they used to cut the cardboard from the boxes and hang them on their walls. Now while Mark is a talented illustrator, I do need to point out some of the details about dates and companies that he worked for. While he did many illustrations for various toy companies like Tyco Toys, including making the art for the Incredible Crash Dummies, it was Hasbro who brought Takara's Diaclone and Micro Change lines from Japan to the US as the Transformers in 1983. They brought in the talent of Mark Watts to get the toy packaging made for market in 1984. It's no surprise that his talent lent a hand in turning Transformers into the mega brand that is known for today. Today, Mark Watts has been a featured artist on QVC, and his artwork has been on display at large classic car shows, such as the Boca Rattan Concours Delegance. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. You can even purchase prints of his work, including his Transformers art, on his website. While this isn't a sponsored video, I do want to make mention of a really cool product that he invented. It's called Table Art. 
And I can go into detail about that, but I think it's best that Mr. Watts explain exactly what that is. I have this new concept, which are, it's kind of like a transformer into a transformer. It's wall art, it's anodized aluminum like your MacBook Pro. It comes off the wall and it becomes a desk table and it also slides down into a coffee table. And it's really beautiful. If you want to show the folks some of the pieces, it comes in black or silver, and the back looks something like this. That's cool. It's a really great piece. You can go to my website, check it out. Plus, I have about 50 other Transformer pieces I think you'll enjoy uh, from the construction set. Just an array of stuff. Go on my website, look under Transformer Prints, and uh, you can get the link to my website. Thanks for visiting.